Hello, my name is Farad Lien, and I am very happy to tell you a little about my most precious hobby, science. I will now talk to you about the year 1905, a wonderful year for science, Einstein, among the five scientific articles that he published that advanced the world, strongly attracts my attention. Does the inertia of a body depend on its energy? Next we are going to study step by step the meaning of the key terms of the equations that Einstein proposed in this year writing. About this document. This edition of Einstein's Does the Inertia of a Body Depend Upon Its Energy Content is based on the English translation of his original and German language paper, published in Annalen der Physik. Athen, 639, year 1905, which appeared in the book The Principle of Relativity, published in 1923 by Methuen and Company, LTD, London. The energy of a body is equal to its mass times the speed of light squared. 118 years ago, Einstein completed his doctoral thesis in physics and published a series of articles in the German journal Annalen der Physik. Four of them carried out between March and September make history in the field of physics. Most famously, the special relativity theory, where he redefines the concepts of space and time, breaks the Newtonian view of absolute space and time. For Einstein, according to his words, it is the first level of a two-story house. About 118 years have passed since that singular year in the annals of science. In September of the wonderful year, he asked, is the inertia of a body dependent on its energy? Einstein shows that if a body releases energy L in the form of light, its mass decreases by an amount equal to L over the speed of light squared. Another way of saying it is that there is no essential distinction between mass and energy. What does this mean, that mass measures the amount of matter contained in a body, which also measures its energy content, by means of the speed of light to the power of 2, where it rises to the status of true universal constant of physical. The equivalence between mass and energy is that pure energy can be transformed into mass, that is, it can be materialized in the form of massive particles, and conversely, mass can be converted into energy. In his article, Does the Inertia of a Body Depend on Its Energy Content?, Einstein wrote, Let there be a system of plane waves of light, what did he mean? In the article, Einstein is talking about the dependence of the inertia of a body on its energy content. Einstein makes an analogy using a system of plane waves of light to illustrate his argument. The idea is that the inertia of a body is proportional to its energy, and this relationship can be understood through the analogy of plane waves of light. In short, Einstein is arguing that the inertia of a body is related to its energy, and he uses a system of plane light waves to illustrate this relationship. 1 minus the speed of the body over the speed of light times cosine of the angle phi between the square root of 1 minus the speed of the body over the speed of light both square, what does it represent? This relationship represents the transformation of the energy of an electromagnetic wave into two coordinate systems in relative motion. It is a part of the law of conservation of energy in the reference frame of a moving observer. Symbol D is the relative velocity between the two coordinate systems, C is the speed of light in a vacuum, phi is the angle between the relative velocity direction and the electromagnetic wave direction. This term represents the correction that must be made to the energy of an electromagnetic wave to pass from one coordinate system to another in relative motion. It is an important part of the theory of special relativity and shows that the energy of an electromagnetic wave depends on the observer's frame of reference. Let L be the energy of a plane light wave in a first three-dimensional coordinate space system, and L, asterisk. The energy of the light wave in a second three-dimensional space coordinate system with movement parallel to the horizontal x-axis, in the Einstein article mentioned in year 1905. What does this equation represent? Yes, that is the equation that represents the energy of a plane wave of light in two coordinate systems in relative motion. This equation is known as the law of conservation of energy in the reference frame of a moving observer. L asterisk is the energy measured in the second reference coordinate system, while L is the energy measured in the first reference coordinate system. Lowercase v is the relative velocity between the two coordinate systems and capital V is the speed of light in a vacuum. Einstein's symbology in his original article, 
phi is the angle between the direction of relative velocity and the direction of the electromagnetic wave. This equation shows that the energy of an electromagnetic wave is not an absolute quantity, but depends on the observer's frame of reference. In the context of the theory of relativity, this equation is decisive because it shows that the speed of light in a vacuum is an absolute constant, regardless of the observer's frame of reference. What does the term L represent by V divided by C I, speed of light before UB, multiplied by cosine of the angle phi? This is a term in the equation that represents the energy of a plane wave of light in two coordinate systems in relative motion. Again symbol L is the energy of the light wave in a fixed coordinate system. Lower V is the relative velocity between the two coordinate systems. C is the speed of light in a vacuum and phi is the angle between the direction of relative velocity and the direction of the electromagnetic wave. This term represents the energy of the electromagnetic wave in the moving coordinate system, due to the relationship between the speed of the wave and the relative speed between the two coordinate systems. This term is a measure of the energy that the electromagnetic wave appears to have to a moving observer. Following the study of his article, Einstein wrote, let a body be stationary in the first system of reference, and let symbol S0 be its energy, refer to the second system of space coordinate space. Let symbol 0 be the energy of the body relative to the first system moving as before with velocity UV. What he wanted to say? Einstein is describing a hypothetical experiment in which a body is at rest in a first coordinate system and its total energy, S0, is being referred to this system. Then he describes second coordinate system that is moving with velocity relative to the first system. The total energy of the body at rest, zero, is now referred to this second moving coordinate system. Einstein is comparing these two energies and their relationship to speed and the theory of relativity. Very soon, we will continue with part two of this Einstein writing. See you soon friends.